Hello everyone, welcome to the Molchanov Movement. My name is Dean Shao, Molchanov Instructor Trainer, and today I'm going to run you through a knee prehab session. So basically what this session is uh, designed to do is uh, maintain good knee health, mobility and strength. So for today's session you'll need a yoga mat, a roller, ideally also a massage ball, and then something to lift your heel a little bit higher. So I've used two uh, lead weights. Okay. So um, it's really important to look after your knees. Obviously, we use our knees for all disciplines uh, apart from free immersion. So it's important to make sure that before we do any kind of exercise, it's important to, to warm the knees up um, and then also strengthen them as well. So in this session, I'm basically going to give you a mixture of 10 exercises and the way that we run through it, um, the first few exercises are designed to warm the knees up and obviously increase the range of motion in pre preparation for the strength exercises then at the end. I'm going to give you some variations, so you obviously choose the variation that's most suitable for you and then move up from there. Um, I'll also give you a recommended amount of repetitions and the entire routine, you can repeat that from one to three times. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing we're gonna do is roll out the top of the legs, okay? So the areas that we wanna focus on are the hips. So really try and get in um, into those tight spaces with your massage ball and then roll along the side of your legs and you'll kind of feel where that spot is um, because you should feel like it's, it's slightly more sensitive around this kind of area and then also focus rolling out the tops of the knees as well so I'll just show you quickly so I usually start off with the roller so just roll in the side um, I use the roller a lot so I'm happy with dealing with a little bit of discomfort but if um, if you're kind of a little bit more sensitive then you can take a little bit less of your body weight so you just massage in it and then you can also use the roller on the hips as well but again I like to um, use the massage ball so and just relax and just find those sensitive and tight areas So the next exercise, we're going to rotate the knees. So if you bring your legs um, close together, um, as close as they can be, and we're gonna slightly bend the knees, give a micro bend into the knees, place your hands on your knees, and we're gonna keep our, the soles of our feet in contact with the floor at all times, and we're gonna rotate first clockwise. So give 10 rotations first, nice and slowly, Trying to move through the entire range. And then once you've done that, 10 in that direction, change direction and repeat 10 times. Then repeat the rotation, both directions again. So it's a total of 40 rotations. The next exercise is similar, except we're just gonna move side to side. So separate your legs about hip width distance apart and what we're going to do is counter the movement with our arms so you're going to move from one side and then your arms are going to go to the other side and then repeat so again this is slowly just moving through that range So again, repeat each side 10 times. And the next exercise, we're going to bring our legs close together again. And for this, they're gonna, you're gonna have, I'm gonna give you two variations. Either you can have your hands on your knees, um, which is slightly less intense if you are limited by hamstring flexibility, or you can place your hands in front of you on the floor. So, the movement, I'll show you the, the easier variation. The movement is basically bending the knees and coming into a squatted position and then 
coming back up. So try not to, when you come to this position, try not to bounce, okay? So try and make sure that the movement is slow and controlled. So again, if you want a bit more intensity, then you can place your hands in front of you. That way then you're also warming up the hamstrings and also the backs of the knees. Show you side angle. The next exercise, you're going to need um, your weights or whatever you're using to elevate your heel. So, ideally, you want about this much height you can use a little bit more or a little bit less and so what you're going to do is place it down on your mat and you're going to place uh, the back of your heel um, on top of the weight so as you can see I'm lifting the heel up and so you're also supporting yourself with the balls of your feet and then with your other hand uh, with your other leg you're going to keep it straight and this is a good this is, again this is the less intense variation and we're just going to bend the knee down, touch the, this leg, touch the heel on the floor, and then lift back up. And you can repeat that. If you're just staying here, then you want to repeat this movement for about 15 to 20 times. A level up, you can touch the heel in front of you, to the side, and then behind you, like this. Keeping the leg straight. And so you can do that 9 to 12 times. And again, you want to alternate and repeat the same on the other leg. The more intense variation of this uh, will need slightly more elevation. So what we're going to do now is move over to a step and we're going to do the same thing. So as you can imagine, you're going to be bending the knee further. So again, working more on the knee. So now that we have our elevation, we're going to come back and place our heel on top of the weight. We're going to come back up and we're going to place the heel to the bottom of the floor. So make sure that this leg is nice and stable and the knee isn't caving to either side. So again, depending on the height that you have and so your level, you can do anywhere between 8 to 12 reps. So we'll also repeat on the other side. So also just to note, uh, make sure that when you're dropping down and you're touching the heel onto the floor, uh, make sure that it's not a heavy thud. Uh, make sure that it, it makes contact with the floor nice and soft and then you come back up slow. The next exercise we're going to do, we're also going to use the step and we're going to do some calf races. So place the balls of your feet on the edge so your arch is just over the edge of the step and support yourself. We're going to keep this leg straight and you're going to drop down and allow the heel to sink all the way down and then come back up and lift as high as you can and then drop back down slowly. So and you can repeat this eight to 12 times and then you could also repeat on the other side. So now we'll move back to the mat and continue the rest of the session. The next of these exercises, we're going to be working on the glutes. So we're going to come onto the mat like this. So bend your bottom leg at 90 degrees and then straighten your other leg in front of you so that your knees are in line and place your bottom hand to support you and then you can place your other hand here. So the movement, we're going to raise the leg up 
pause here for a few seconds, three to four seconds, and then slowly come back down, and then repeat. So you want to repeat that between six to ten times and then repeat it on the other side. You should really feel that in the sides of your glutes. So the next exercise we're going to be doing a split squat. So place your front leg in front of you make sure that your knee is on top of your ankle and then place the back leg behind place your toes um, like that and make sure that the back leg the knee is below the hip so for this exercise we're going to squat up and we're going to lift up and then we're going to slowly drop down in this position just before your knees touch the floor you're just going to stay there for anywhere between three to six seconds and then drop down repeat that exercise when you're doing this exercise make sure that your knees don't cave out or in so this is a kind of like a stability exercise so I'm gonna come up slowly come back down and then drop down and repeat on the other side, anywhere between eight to 12 reps. Next exercise, we're gonna come to a wide-legged squat position. Bring the feet about hip width distance. Part. Here we're going to rock forward slowly, okay, so you really should feel that now on your knees, and then drop down. Then place your toes pointing backwards and sit on the tops of your feet, and then slowly drop down just to wherever you can go. Then come back up, and then rock back into the squat position and repeat. The last of these exercises, we're going to drop back from this position. So beginning with your knees below your hips, and the tops of your feet flat against the mat. So for this exercise, if it's difficult for you, then you can also ask a buddy to help you come back up to the original position. So basically what we're going to do from this position is drop down, again, go to wherever you can go to, and then slowly bring yourself back up. So I'll just show you a demo. So if you need a buddy, then you can drop down and then you can ask a buddy to help you come back up to the original position. Or if you don't have a buddy, then you can use some support. So if you attach maybe a resistance band or a strap um, onto a door or something, then you can use that to help to pull you back up to the original position. And you want to repeat that about four to eight times. So the last of these exercises then is a hamstring stretch and also stretching the backs of the knees. So come back up to standing. What we're going to do is place the leg that we want to stretch and the, the sole of the foot flat and then we're going to place the back of the leg just um, the toes are just behind the front heel okay 
and we're going to bend and sort of lift in the heel up from the floor and we're just going to lean forwards okay so make sure that you keep your lower back straight so try not to round the spine and again just come to a position that's comfortable for you and then hold that for 20 seconds and then repeat on the other side you should really feel the backs of the knees stretching it's a really nice stretch and I probably repeat that uh, three times for each leg so that's it have a go and please tell me how it goes and um, I hope that it's really helpful for you and I hope that it alleviates some of your boredom. Thanks for joining and enjoy the rest of the session.